Let's talk. Let's talk. Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk. My name is Benel Neptune. In today's broadcast, we speak about the upcoming activities as it relates to school counseling week. And with us to discuss this topic is Coordinator of Guidance Counseling, Joyce Lynn Eugene, and District 5 Counselor, Mr. Jared Cauldron. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. um, of course, school counseling is a big part of the education sector and of course we see that work is being done to continue growing this area. Yeah. Can you tell us um, when is school counseling week and what is the objective or motive behind undertaking activities as it relates to school counseling week? Thank you uh, very much. School counseling week will be observed this year for the first time from February 5th to the 9th and um, it is in keeping with the International School Counselors Week. We are hoping that through this event this year that we would be able to sensitize persons to things that have been happening in terms of school counseling and the developments over the, over the years. School counselors have been in schools for, well, we had four school counselors or t guidance counselors, I would say, from 1992. They were in four schools for districts and since that we had 30 councillors serving the entire island of St. Lucia. Wonderful. So we can definitely say that it has been growing and we have yes. a lot of district councillors. Now of course we have a district councillor with us here yes, today. Mr. Cauldron, why, how important do you believe uh, this initiative is? Oh, very important. Because I think there is a need for people to recognize how significant the councillors are in the education system. Actually, we, we make a tremendous difference in the lives of the children. Maybe some people don't know because, you see, the whole idea of the confidentiality of the counselor, students refer themselves, come to us, you know, with a challenge, or they simply want, you know, some feedback on, on you know, on their the behavior, and um, maybe they have some struggle at ho struggles at home, you know, or in their community. And they ask us, you know, um, what we think, and we guide them as to how they can relate to others. Sometimes they have, um, you know, personal issues, you know, and we help them deal with it, mm -hmm. you know. So we, we play a very important mm -hmm. part in the life of a student. Wonderful. Before mm -hmm. we touch on the activities that will be undertaken, can you tell us how do you think celebrating School Counseling Week will impact the students? All right. I think celebrating School Counseling Week will give students another opportunity to come face to face with the counselor. As Mr. Cauldron mentioned, you think of counseling and you think of confidentiality and you think of it as something you do not want people to know that you are accessing, a service that you do not want persons to really know that you are accessing. But school counselors serve in many different roles, many different um, areas of development in the lives of the students. And so I think it would give them an opportunity to take stock, to reflect on how their exposure to a school counselor, how these counselors have impacted in their lives, and also give them an opportunity to give back and to show appreciation for what the counselors have been doing for them over the last many years. And what are some of the activities that will be undertaken as to do this part of it? Okay, so this is the very first time that we are undertaking this. Our first main activity is an ecumenical service and brunch, which will be held on the 5th of February. This, of course, will see many stakeholders and persons whom we collaborate with when, with regard to counseling being a part of that service. During the course of the week, we have some other events. We have a counselors conference, which is specifically geared to the counselors in terms of um, counselor development and other areas concerning counseling. There is also a, an audio recording that will go out to every school, primary and secondary, where I will be addressing the students uh, about counseling week and giving them a little bit of information and sharing. We are hoping that that could be played at assembly so that students would, you know, hear a little bit more 
about what we are trying to do. Later on in the week, we have uh, what we refer to as self-care day. Counselors take care of others. We go out of our way to ensure that the mental health, physical development, social development of students and everything. And sometimes we ourselves are left, you know, in the, in the dark. We do not get the kind of care that we need. And so we do want to have some self-care activities on their behalf on the, on the Friday. There's supposed to be a dinner on the Saturday evening. Of course, this again is to give them an opportunity for us to come together in one venue and to really just have an opportunity to celebrate ourselves and the work that we have done, we've been doing. And of course, we can see that although the students will benefit from the activity, also getting the counselors will be benefited, benefiting yeah. as well and being yeah. appreciated for their work. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because yes, yeah. the counseling program really has no, no value if there are no students to work with. Great. Yeah. And for you, Mr. Cauldron, as a district counselor, what role do you expect to play in the whole activity? Okay, just definitely I would like to um, help students become more aware of the whole importance of, of counseling and how they can access it more. Um, because, you know, some, there's sometimes a, a, a fear of going to, to, to counselors, you know, because the perception is um, a counselor might, you know, tell people my business, you know, that sort of thing. You know, but one of the things we, we always insist and we always let them know is that confident, it's the, of the whole idea of confidentiality, where as long as the child's life is not in any jeopardy, you know, um, you know we are not allowed to reveal anything um, concerning that child. The only time there's a limit to it is when the child's life is in danger or, you, you know. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, we are due for a break. When we return, we'll continue our discussion about the activities as it relates to school counseling. We'll be back in a moment. I'm so fed up with my 13-year-old child. She's driving me crazy. I just don't know what to do. All that child need is some good licks to wake up. Alice, ignore the counseling pansies given. Government employees have free access to professional counseling services under the Employee Assistance Program, known as EAP. EAP? EAP? What's that? Uh, not me that telling people my business. Listen to me, Alice. I was struggling with my child. I made an appointment to see an EAP counselor, and I was very satisfied with the service that I received. And you know what? Up to a day like today, my information remains confidential. Cox, how come nobody in the office knew anything about your counseling? Ah, that's because EAP counselors, they work on the strict clauses of confidentiality. I know you know what confidential means. Eh, uh -uh. EAP providing professional counseling services? How much is it? Girl, the counseling is free. Free for you, free for your child. And you know what? Your information remains confidential. Call the EAP unit at the Ministry of the Public Service. Telephone number 468-2269 for more information. EAP works. Let it work for you. Welcome back to Let's Talk. We will continue our discussion with Joyce and Eugene and Jared Cauldron, where we're discussing the upcoming activities as it relates to School Counseling Week. Um, of course, as these activities would be happening, we know for sure there would be a theme. Yes. Um, what is the theme that is this, the activities would be guided under? And what will it highlight? Our theme this year, as a start, is school counselors, touching lives, creating change for success. And so in, when we looked at this theme, we spoke about the impact that we have on others, or working with others, touching lives. But, and creating change also. We are looking at change for ourselves as well because we, as counselors, serve. Counselors are supposed to develop themselves professionally as well. And of course, our ultimate goal is for these students to experience success at school. It can be very difficult, very trying at various levels of your education system. When students are in school, they go through so many challenges. At the end of the day, whichever area this child is able to excel in, the school counselor wants to be able to be a part of that to encourage the success of the child. 
you mentioned change mm -hmm. in terms of the theme. How would you say that the present situation has related to counselors in terms of doing the job? Because we've changed, what is the situation like now? And what would you like to see happening in the future? Okay, I think one of the major changes we would say that we recognize now is that we do have one counselor in each education district. We have one counselor in each secondary school. What we would like to see is a counselor for per primary school in some instances because of the number of students that are in some schools. So if you have schools where the student population is well above 300, and we're talking about the primary schools. At present, the district councils, for example, Mr. Cauldron, would have a number of primary schools in his district. Ten, actually. Ten? Mm -hmm. Ten primary schools in his district that he serves. He's the one counselor, and he goes to each of those primary schools at different times during the course of the term, uh, meeting the students, meeting the needs of the students, working and collaborating with teachers, planning and implementing programs to ensure that we contribute towards the academic, professional, um, personal and social development and career needs of the, of the students. So I'm guessing with the week of activities, it also allow the district councillors and also the councillors, it will give them the opportunity to reflect, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. Great. And one of the things, how would you say the plans are going so far as it relates to the activities? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I would say that the plans are going along steadily. They are, we have been making arrangements and so on, and you can well imagine as you start working the plans, new things seem to be surfacing and so on, but we have been able to manage. Uh, we have gotten the support of the Ministry of Education in ensuring that we have access to um, some of the resources that we need in order for us to be a successful event. We have also sought sponsorship because we, uh, community, we, we, we serve the community um, indirectly so we are hoping that we would receive favorable responses yeah. from our sponsors. And of course, the counselors themselves are very excited about this initiative. We are hoping it will be an annual celebration like Teachers Week and um, Teacher Appreciation Day. And of course, we're looking forward to building that and to doing more exciting things. So wonderful, great. And Mr. Cauldron, any final words you would like to give on the upcoming activities? Well, we are really looking forward to it. Um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is, like we have a conference coming on, and which we'll have a, 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 a speaker, uh, Miss Nicole Edgecombe, mm -hmm. and her, her theme really is building future ready students. And I'm looking forward to that because we will be educated, you know, as to you know, the, some of the ways we can do that even more. You know, I'm looking forward to receiving that information which will help the students so I'll go to my schools and re really be you know enthused with that information you know so that I can be um, more helpful to students and so on and I believe that um, as counselors another thing I'm looking forward to is the self-care activities because many times we don't take care of ourselves we give out a lot we give to people and we don't take care of ourselves so if we don't take care of ourselves we won't be we cannot <laughs> be as effective as we want to you know so we need to sometimes spoil ourselves, sometimes have fun as well. Yes. You know, yes. and do those kind sure. of things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, I want to thank you so much for being part of our, pro of our program, Joycelyn Eugene and also mm -hmm. Jared Cauldron. It was definitely a pleasure, and we want to wish you all the best with all the activities for School Counseling Week. Thank you. Thank you. With that, we've come to the end of Let's Talk for today. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Phil Neptune. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Let's talk. Let's talk.